Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video. And in today's video, you see the title, you see the title. I'm starting a new little mini series on this channel, okay? I'm gonna call it Straight Buzzer Topics. And it's just gonna be like celebrity gossip topics, nothing too crazy, not like a formal video or anything super long. Just my thoughts on a specific thing that might have happened with a celebrity, me giving my comment on it. Um, there's not gonna be like comments from other people or anything like that, how I normally have. It's just gonna be my thought on that topic in a quick little bite-sized form and then I'll move on to the next topic. I don't know how often I'll do this. I'll probably do it every once in a while or depending upon if you guys like it or if you guys watch the videos or not. It just depends on the reception and it depends on the topics in which there are that I feel like talking about because I'm not just going to talk about everything and anything. I have to be interested in it if I'm going to comment on it. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the topics that I picked for this video. One of the first things I wanted to talk about was Rihanna. She just posed for a photo shoot for Vogue. She looks absolutely amazing. I just thought it was very interesting and random because I was like, oh, Rihanna just randomly be popping out because, you know, she did that performance for those people. I think it was in India, if I'm not mistaken. And then now she's doing this Vogue photo shoot. You know, Rihanna be out here and there, this and that. She looks amazing. Apparently... People are saying she's copying Beyonce. That is what the streets are saying. That's what everybody's talking about. I just found that conversation interesting because she has this, you know, cowboy looking hat on. I don't even know if it's a cowboy hat, but it kind of resembles one. People are also saying that in regards to Nicki Minaj too, because apparently Nicki Minaj was on tour and she had a cowboy hat on in one of her sets or during, you know, one of the portions of the performance. And I was just like, I was like, wow, okay. Um, but do you guys think that Rihanna is copying Beyonce? I really don't think Rihanna has a reason to copy Beyonce, if I'm being honest. Like, Rihanna's in her own lane. She's doing her own thing. I mean, unless she's trolling her, but why would Rihanna have a reason to troll Beyonce? I feel like, you know, they were compared in their early onsets of their career and things like that, but they have so much, like, differences. They're on so two totally different playing fields and doing their own things and dominating on their own fronts and minding their business, I really don't feel like it would be necessary for Rihanna to shade Beyonce or copy Beyonce or do anything like that. But, you know, stands will stand. So you guys let me know what you think about that. Also next is Miss Glow. Big Glow, Big Glow. Yeah, Glow, stump a rep bitches and make it bail, ho. Yeah, Glow, something, something, and something, something, Glow. <laughs> Curbing on crewing, my shit is... <laughs> So, <laughs> Glorilla is doing live performances on, I think, Genius, if I'm not mistaken, for her new song, Yeah, Glow, that's climbing the charts, whatever. I am so proud of her. Like, I am so beyond proud of Glorilla, because as we know, it's taken a minute for her to catch, like, another song, you know, for a while. She hadn't been popping like that. People were saying Glorilla fell off, da da da, -da this that and the third so i was so happy and proud of her to see her do her yeah glow open mic performance and everybody's just praising her and you know she's going on tour with megan the stallion i don't know if i had told y'all that she is going to be with megan the stallion on tour i don't know if she's doing all the dates or if she's just doing partial but oh my gosh so happy for glow so happy for her let me know what you guys think did you see the um live performance that she did with genius how do you how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Next on the docket is Miss JT, 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 JT. Moi, no boss. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> when the bass comes in on that song, I'd be lit. But anyway, JT is on tour. She's on tour. She officially started her tour. She's also dropping a mixtape. I believe it's called, uh, I was about to say Hood Cinderella. That's not correct. Um, City Cinderella. And um, she's getting ready to drop that. She has like videos of her on tour. It's like not a huge amount of people or nothing like that, but you can see the love and support in the crowd and the audience with the people who are there for her. And y'all sitting up there talking all of that shit, talking about how you gonna go on tour with three songs? How you gonna do this, this, that, and the third? Uh, uh, uh. What? Leave JT alone. Like, and people aren't saying that now. All I see in regards to JT on the internet is praise. Everybody is saying, oh, look at JT. Oh, that's so cool. Da, 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 da. People see how lit it is. People are seeing the support that she gets and they're changing their tune. Nobody is saying nothing negative about her being on tour now. That's how you know, like a lot of the time, the internet just be blabbing, just be talking, just to talk. 
because ever since you know she started the tour people aren't saying nothing negative it's only positive stuff so it's like you gotta tune shit out a lot of the time and just do what you're gonna do and I love this for JT I'm so excited for her I'm so happy about the reception I I was a little bit worried when she first announced the tour to be honest I thought nobody was gonna show up because of the fact that you know she doesn't have a lot of a lot of songs and because of the negative response that she got online when she announced that she was going on tour I, it made it seem like nobody was gonna show up you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, well, damn, I'm a little nervous for her. But no, that was all bullshit because people are there and people are supporting her and people are going to continue to go, especially after she drops her project. So, you know, anyway, that just pissed me off. But <laughs> I'm so happy for her and I'm glad that she's out here building her fan base and starting from the bottom and working your way up. Like we all have to start from somewhere. It's like I think about that when it comes to my channel, too. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm leaving that in. Sorry. I didn't mean to cough in y'all ear. I did that the other day too. My throat has been congested as hell. Uh, like, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, so I liken that with my YouTube channel too. Like, you have to start from somewhere. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't. In comparison to other people who make content, uh, who have like large followings and stuff like that, I don't have, but you have to start from somewhere. You got to work your way from the bottom to the top. You're not just going to skyrocket to the top you know and if you do you end up falling harder than you got up there you know what i'm saying you got to take your time and build and and i appreciate jt for doing that for real the millie the millie shit I like how i write it hop on the i make him get excited you supposed to the lame niggas uh i got some pain and and then and then yeah <laughs> Why did I sing that song to introduce Will Millie? Like, isn't her latest song, um, Never Lose Me? Let me start over. Bitch, it never be me. And I like, oh, wait, that's Cardi's first. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait, no, wait. How does it go? He's beat on Hannah Makuchi. He touching a Millie Pucci. Doing good. Bitch, I'm Gucci. Fight at Asia. He feeding me sushi. When I'm, uh, you feel like a, da, 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 da. yeah. Anyway, so Will Millie. She had an interview or whatever, and she was speaking on her collaboration for Never Lose Me with SZA and Cardi B. So I have that here. Well, first, I hit up SZA because, like, you know, SZA has always shown me love. Like, I really love SZA. We exchanged numbers, and then, yeah, it just came kind of natural. So Cardi had reached out. I was like, what? Like, I literally was in my bed, and when they called me, I was like, what? That's crazy. It feels amazing. It's just like a full circle moment for me because I've been working so hard, being like a pandemic artist artists like coming out at such a like crazy time it's giving me the time to like learn about myself and get more creative and just experience more to be able to make better art love that for her love that for her i love that flamilia is coming up in the world i love flamilia like i, I told y'all a while ago i've been listening to her since like 2019 and i love her so much and i'm so glad that she got the SZA collab the cardi collab that's gonna help her in her career in terms of like you know she's getting bigger features you know whereas before you know a couple of years ago people weren't working with flo millie like that like bigger artists were not working with her or acknowledging her that much to be honest with you um and that's how it is i feel like in the game it's like you have to get a couple of hits you have to get some experience and then bigger artists will pay more attention to you you know what i'm saying but I'm glad that she's getting more recognition. I'm glad that. Oh, I heard. I'm not. I don't have the. I don't have it. But I heard that Flo Millie's album, like, actually did pretty well. I think it was like 14 or 15 k first week for her album, something like that. And that's actually like pretty good. It outsold Coyle Ray. It outsold. Um, who else did it outsell? Um, I'm sorry, not for 16k um first week, which is not like a whole a whole lot, but that's pretty good. You know, Flamilia is like not a huge huge artist yet. I don't think that's a bad first week sales at all for Flamilia. Who else? I can't even think of it right now though. Who else is she outsold? She outsold somebody else who's like I think bigger than than Flo, like bigger than Flamilia. Um, it has more attention and more like virality and stuff like that, and she outsold them. Damn, that's pissing me off that I can't think of what the hell that tweet said. The somebody in the somebody in Twitter had said it, but anyway, irregardless of that, I'm proud of Flo. Um, and I wish her nothing but the best and success moving forward. Okay, next is Mr. Saucy Santana or whatever the hell. And apparently there was some drama with him because he had like, so the other day Lotto had um, paid for some fans rent or something like that. 
And apparently Saucy Santana was getting asked by a fan to pay for Nicki Minaj tickets or something like that. And he had said, oh, yeah, something about he would pay for it, but he doesn't want to get them in trouble. So I saw it on Buzzing Pop and I was like, interesting. So people were like, oh, my gosh, like Saucy Santana is trying to get clout off Nicki because why do you have to mention Nicki? Why couldn't he just, you know, send the fan money? Da, 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 da. I mean, apparently he was saying that Nicki Minaj had unfollowed him. And, you know, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but allegedly, according to the barbs from what I heard, that Saucy Santana, you know, and Nicki don't get along because he was trying to get a feature from Nicki Minaj and he was like pretty much being pushy or something about a feature or really trying to get the feature from her. And Nicki Minaj just wasn't feeling his energy. And so they ended up not really being the most cool in that she had just randomly unfollowed him. Maybe she didn't speak to him about it. Maybe she didn't you know hop in his dms or call him or text him to tell him anything because he's saying that he don't know what what's the problem or like why she ain't followed him so i don't know the barbs who are watching me can let me know down below but that's what had happened and the barbs are basically saying that he's trying to get clout by even bringing nikki up so anyway that's it for this one guys um let me know what you guys think about this i'll do this as often as you guys i guess want it and if nobody gives a shit about it then i won't do them that much <laughs> and that's it for this one i'll talk to you in the next one bye